Hello, this is Larry Mitchell coming to you from nextlevelguitar.com. And I am back talking about Political Rain, one of my favorite songs to play live. And today we're going to talk about the solo section. And um, I learned a lot about the solo uh, at a guitar clinic at the School of Berkeley uh, Music in Boston. And remember, I'm self-taught, so and I've kind of learned a lot of theory it's since then. But it was very interesting talking about the tonal centers and different things. So I'll just touch on some of the things in the solo. Uh, there's some tab. If I go too fast, you'll, you'll see the tab going through. Um, but there's a lot to cover. Okay, so one of the interesting things about this song is it's actually in the key of A minor. But um, I definitely take liberties when it comes to the solo section. So I'm going to point out some things and show you how I go in and out of uh, different tonal centers, of B and E, back to A. Um, and actually some parts of it in C feel like a C, uh, very much a C vibe. The chords of this song are just, uh, just your straight uh, A minor to F. Sometimes there's a G in between. The beginning of the solo has a, a somewhat orchestrated thing. The bass is doing the part that the guitar was doing on a delay right before that. And then I switch to a uh, lead part. That's... And then I normally do... Sometimes I tap out um, an octave up. So I get that harmonic. And I usually use the wah pedal. It just sounded cool. It, it gives it a little bit different flavor. That's one part of it. And then um, I go into kind of an A-ish motif. And uh, that starts, and there's four sections of this. And that starts with uh, C. And I try and hit that harmonic. I'm not always successful at it, but I try and hit the harmonic at the end. Of uh, and slowly. That's it. Yeah, it has uh, what I used to call that Flintstones running start sometimes, where it's like, it could be if I'm warmed up, it's just. I'm not warmed up with the car really fast. There's the harmonic. I do four of those, and each time, uh, or actually the first time I do three, and each time I kind of add a different uh, a different flavor ending. So I'll play two in a row. Give, give you an idea. <laughs> The next section, uh, which is one of my favorite sections, I kind of want it to feel like everything hits slow motion there. Because I'm coming from a fast part to more slow, uh, more spaced out notes, more um, sustained. And this has a definite B flavor to it. It comes from the... So it's B minor, and I usually, I mean, 
ever noticed I stepped on an Octaver? Uh, I'm using a Fractal Audio Axe Effects, and it has all my effects to delay and amp sims and overdrives, but um, it also has pitch. And uh, I've been using an Octaver of different types uh, for 30 years, maybe. So I hit the B. So it's B, C, D. And then I counter with G. So the whole time B becomes like a pivot note. And it becomes a motif. And each time I do it, which should be four times, I don't know, just groups of four, uh, each time in between is a different phrase. kind of going through these quickly there's an in the video of the solo you can check it out and see what I do I don't remember exactly which I did what I did in the in the actually the solo I get lost in the song live it's one of my favorite songs to play live it's probably my favorite song to play live so um, it's been known to go on forever too uh, the next uh, the next vibe is to switches to E. So I do like I'll start it, I'll build it up sometimes. So it's E, C, D, B. And sometimes it's just E, C, E, B, or E, C, B back and forth. And the last time I put the octave on, again, it makes it feel like it's, uh, um, it makes it feel like it's floating to me. So. Thank you very much for listening and watching. My name is Larry Mitchell, and this is nextlevelguitar.com, and I enjoy doing these lessons here. V please visit the website, nextlevel.com, and uh, there's over 1,300, now 13, over 1,301 lessons for sure, and uh, on different subjects, different levels, and lots of great instructors. Um, and if you want to find out more about me, you can visit me at larrymitchell.com or my Facebook page and find out about the uh, touring schedule. I am touring a lot this year and next year. And uh, hope to see you out at one of your shows. If you uh, come to a show, please come up and say hello. Say you, you saw a lesson on nextlevel.com. Appreciate it. Uh -huh.